Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with foodchallenges.com. I am pumped up. I thought about this. It came to me while I was working out the other day, and I am so excited to share it with you guys because it is all about the entire mindset that you need to have in order to be good at food challenges, eating big, or whatever goals you have that you want to train for and achieve in your life. It's all about when before you begin. When before you begin. And that's broken down into three parts. Number one, train. You've got to train your stomach in order to have the capacity to fit the entire food challenge, eating contest food, whatever it is that you're eating, it's got to be able to fit inside your stomach. Mindset, strategy, all that doesn't matter if you can't fit it inside your stomach. So you have to train for stomach capacity and that's why there are tons of articles about every aspect of the training process, whether you're wanting to train with food, a little bit with liquids, if you want to combine both. There's a whole lot of ways that you're able to train for stomach capacity so that you're able to fit and increase the size of your stomach and the ability of it to expand in order to fit the entire food challenge into your body. All right, number two, strategize. You've already done your training, now it's time to strategize. There are over 28 different types of food challenges and every food challenge requires a different strategy. You don't go about eating a hamburger the same way as you would eating hot dogs. And you wouldn't go the same way about eating a 14 scoop ice cream sundae. You've got to have proper strategy and there is a strategy for every type of challenge. There's a video and an article related to that particular challenge type. So check out those under the strategies column of foodchallenges.com. There's also some additional tips about minor parts of a food challenge to help you break it down so that you can, for example, order your meat correctly. Make sure that it is cooked, prepared well, and ready so that you can dominate your challenge. You don't want your meat fully cooked or anything like that, and that's all part of the strategy. Number three, dominate. Confidence is king. You have to have confidence. You don't go into the food challenge hoping that it's gonna go down. You don't walk into the restaurant, hey, I'm here to hopefully beat your food challenge. No, you walk in, head held high, knowing that you will dominate. You've got to have that mindset when you're doing your food challenges too. Walk into it knowing that your body is well trained. You're able to fit that entire food challenge into your stomach. Strategize. Know that you have a great strategy that you're going to break down that challenge easily. Eat the proteins and the meats first, then the carbs. Know that you are going to win. Have that confidence and you will dominate. Train, strategize, dominate. Do all those three and you will win your food challenge. You won't have to go into it hoping and praying that you'll win. You will win. So remember, Win before you begin. Until my next video, Randy Santel, Atlas, teaching people how to win food challenges all over the world.